that's the activation for the manual boiler fill. Here's the sight glass. You can see kind of past the condensation that there's this brass rod right here. When the water contacts the brass rod, um, it stops the automatic boiler fill. Um, so you can adjust where this brass rod is and where it will start and stop filling. Um, here's where the wastewater goes in and the wastewater going out. That's where the drip tray goes. This is the switch to convert to um, plumbing it in. And this is where all the action happens, deciding where all the water goes. The drip tray, you can see the nozzle broke off. I've got a piece of tape there functioning for now. Oops. Stick this guy in there. It doesn't quite fit snug. I think the heat of the water over the years just eventually warped it. Um, let's do some steam. Nice and powerful hot water wand. This steam wand is just missing the front cap cover. And here, let's do, oops, that's hot. Barista hand saving me. And here's the water action coming out. When you first start up the machine, it takes a while to fill up the heat exchanger, so it's a little slow. And it is picking up. So you have your different options here. I've just been using start and stop. And as for the inside of the machine, this here's the what used to be a water softener tower, but I use it as the water reservoir. Boiler, all the good internals. Got your pump over here. And the thermostat. So here's the bimetal strips. And then this is the screw that adjusts the pressure and therefore temperature in the boiler.